She said that she cheated because she's unhappy and she's been with me since she was 19 and she wants to find out who she is. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled... My wife cheated and is now trying to justify her reasons why. And guys, this story is like so many others where, just like in the title says, cheating's going on, she gets caught, and instead of trying to apologize or right the wrong, she makes it out to be like he's the bad guy and she did nothing wrong and trying to justify her actions. Despicable. And you're going to see here, guys, in this story, this is a guy with two little kids. He's married to her for six years. They've been together for 12. Sounds like he's 36. She's 31. Right around the age, a lot of these things happen. And you're going to see, guys, how he catches her, what he discovers, what she was doing, and, of course, her way of handling it. And not to mention that the old open marriage thing comes up in the conversation as well. Never ceases to amaze me. Psalm Gomorrah 2.0 world we're in right now. And also, guys, you're going to see in this that this guy definitely was trying to be a good husband to her. Letting her hang out with her friends often, all that, giving her the benefit of the doubt. And, unfortunately... She milks it for all it's worth. And it's really sad. So I want to go through this here. And it's just a lot of lessons, guys, about importance of paying attention to red flags, drawing up boundaries, and, of course, cutting ties with somebody that pushes you too far and a reflection of the times. So jumping right into it, it says here, My wife and I have been together for about 12 years and married for six years. We own a home and have two children together. When we got together, she was 19 and I was 24. I thought we had a good marriage famous last words. We go on trips, concerts, camping, etc. We rarely fight. Honestly, one of the only things that I would say I have a problem is our lack of uh, the SEX life was a bit lacking. She takes Prozac, there's a sign, and one of the side effects is a low SEX drive. So we have you know what about once a month. She's usually only horny about around ovulation time. I've had a vasectomy, so no worries about unwanted pregnancy. I have learned to live with it once a month, but realistically, I would rather have you know what at least once a week. I thought that low sex drive was happened to men, not women. And as you're going to see in this story, guys, that whole low SEX drive is BS, as you know her actions are going to prove otherwise. But once a month sounds to me is just enough to try to keep him staying with her. Just enough to satisfy him. And she knows it. Uh, honestly, <clears throat> oh, it says here, in the past six months or so, she's been going out to the bar with friends on the weekends. Not every weekend, more like every other weekend. I've gone with a few times and we had fun. Usually though, I will stay at home with the kids so that we don't need a babysitter. I've been trusting of her. Famous last word. Call me old-fashioned, call me conservative, call me a stick up my butt. But I don't think a mother of two little kids should be every other weekend going out to bars and drinking and all that with a bunch of friends. Okay? You're a mom. Start acting like one. Be at home with the family. I, it's one thing every great once in a while. But every other weekend, that's trouble. And he's being too nice, too giving. And it's going to come back to bite him in the butt. She's in the wrong, as you guys are going to see here. But he didn't help his situation. <clears throat> About two months ago, she was out and didn't come home at, at, when the bar closed. I texted and asked, what's up? Need a ride. And she said she was at a party at someone's house after the bar. She didn't get home until 8 o'clock in the morning. And said she wasn't feeling well and passed out there. I thought that was odd, but chose to believe her. Smack. Total disrespect. Okay? And again... She's a mother of two little kids, and she's out at the bar, so they close, and then going to a party with more drinking going on. It's ridiculous, but again, nowadays, the old uh, the old ways of acting like an actual parent, that's gone way out the door. It's really sad, but at the end of the day, he should be enforcing that, okay? She doesn't give a shit. She doesn't give a shit about him or the little kids. Kids are like, where's mom? Or where's mommy, because they're little kids. Uh, then she's also been purchasing lingerie. She sent me like two sexy pictures of her lingerie, but there are a few outfits I've never seen her in. So I was starting to get suspicious, but then I thought that maybe she's just trying to spice up our SEX life. Well, she's trying to spice up her 
SCX Life, not yours, buddy. Well, yesterday she left her phone out and I snooped on the album. And surely there were several sexy pictures of her that I've never seen. I know she uses Snapchat a lot. I don't have a Snapchat myself. So I checked her Snapchat and found weeks worth of pictures and messages to two different guys. There you go. And why does she need Snapchat, I might add? You can't tell me she can't communicate with her friends through regular uh, messaging system on her smartphone. Or any other way, but, but Snapchat, that's usually for talking to people that you really may not know, and it's also for sending, wait for it, pictures. What kind of pictures? Well, we're going to see. She had lingerie pictures, nudes, and messages about hooking up. One of the guys she's been uh, sexting doesn't actually say anything about them hooking up. It looks like she was just sending him pictures. But I only had a limited time to look. But the other guy, they're messaging about SEX and planning another meetup this weekend. I closed the phone there. There may have been more than two guys, but I didn't want her to catch me. And also, I got all the evidence I needed. I was shaking with fury. I feel bad for this guy. Absolutely. But on the other hand, you can see how this guy just let her talk him into all these things, going out every other weekend with the girlfriends. I mean, how many stories have I done? Girls' night out, girls' weekend, girls' trip, all that. Doesn't mean that every single time a bunch of women get together, this is going to go on. No. But it happens enough that one has to pay attention. And, of course, the Snapchat, the pictures and all that. What a piece of garbage. But it was right there, right in front of him. I planned a way to confront her, but I couldn't hold it. I held it in until the kids were in bed. I told her what I found, and she got mad at me for invading her private messages. Mad at him? He's the bad guy? She's the one taking pictures? She's the one sending it to other dudes and evidence of her hooking up with other dudes, but he's the bad guy? To provide context, I leave my Facebook and Twitter signed on the computer. She can and does read my messages whenever she wants. So that argument doesn't hold weight. I said she just got mad she got caught. I had to leave and go for a walk to cool down. She no doubt reads his stuff to, to see if he's cheating because that's her view of the world. Well, I'm a cheater and a liar. So everybody else is. When I returned, we had a talk. I told her I trusted her and she betrayed that trust. I can never trust her the same again. She said that she cheated because she's unhappy that she's been with me since she was 19 and she wants to find out who she is. Find out who she is. It's always the same line. I want to find out who I am. I need uh, time for me. I need to discover myself. I need to fix myself. I need to work on myself. Translation, I need to go ride the carousel and get a bunch of attention. But yeah, she found out who she is and he found out who she is. She's a liar. She's a cheater. She's a bad mother. And she's also a W-H-O-R-E. And yes, bad mother, because she isn't just cheating on him, she's also cheating on the kids. I told her that is that is when you ask for a divorce or separation, not just go behind my back. She also said that it wasn't that bad, that she was just sexting. I told her she was sending nudes. She said, no, I showed, I showed her a screen shot and she said, that's not nude, that's topless. Unbelievable. Then I mentioned the messages from the guy about busting on her and how they're meeting again this weekend. She said they didn't really have SEX, only kind of. How do you only kind of have SEX? It's either you did or you didn't. She said she's allowed to make mistakes. I told her this is not a mistake. Getting drunk and fooling around once is a mistake. Messaging someone for weeks on end and planning meetups is not an accident. So, I'm going to stop here. Do you guys, have you heard anything about her apologizing? Or remorse or regret for her actions none all she is doing is coming up with these bs excuses gaslighting him twisting things around etc i need to find who i am and she mentioned about being with him since she was 19 unless he left something out it doesn't sound like he forced her or she was forced by a weapon to be with this guy since she was 19 and at the end of the day if you're not happy with your marriage okay talk communicate for one, or if that doesn't work, okay, separation, divorce, but don't do this to the guy, don't do this to your kids, this guy, a lot of women would kill for a guy that it was this obviously good to her, but this is what he gets, and this guy you're going to see is also a bonehead also, but no guy deserves this, 
<clears throat> he says, uh, so many thoughts are in my head. I'm thinking about divorce, but so hard. I can't really afford an attorney. Uh, I don't know what will happen with the house and custody of the kids. I'm also thinking of marriage counseling. Smack. Yeah, good luck, buddy. All they're going to do is, is say, uh, give her another chance. Stay in the marriage. And then what she'll do is she'll know that she has leverage and keep doing what she's doing. I don't know if this is fixable. If she would have told me she was unhappy, I could have tried to change or whatever she needed, but she never even told me. Exactly. Because she wants out. She's 31. And a common thing with these stories are these gals turn get to their early 30s, they've had a kid or two, and they still want to be young and be wanted and get that attention and validation. That's key. And this type of crap starts. <clears throat> now, now, we haven't gotten to the good stuff yet. Now, watch this. Then she says she doesn't want to leave me and wants an open relationship. I'm not a lazy man. I told her, so you think that would be fair? She'd be hooking up every weekend, and I'd be lucky to score once a year outside the marriage. That was such a ridiculous idea, it's almost laughable. That's why she said it, because she knows darn well she has no competition. She knows darn well this guy who says he's not a lazy man... It's not going to get, there's going to be no threat to her what she has. But on the other hand, she'll have dudes lying up down the street to nail her. It's a perfect situation. That's how all these stories go. Until the guy actually starts, the guys that go along with this, get some confidence, meet a girl they like who doesn't want to do this, and then the woman finds out she could lose her guy, wants to close the marriage and all that, and usually that's when it's over. <clears throat> he says here, I even told her if she seriously wanted to explore her sexuality, we could have tried to swing with another couple. I would have considered that if she told me that our relationship would be over otherwise. Smack. What kind of man with any kind of self-respect or dignity would say, okay, since I don't, if the relationship was going to be over, I would hand you over to do some swinging or whatever with some other couple. No. No man with any self-respect. But clearly this guy doesn't have it. Clearly, in his eyes, she... When he married her, no doubt, he thought that he got the great deal. Because she's obviously can get any dude she wants. She's good looking enough to do that. But he, not a ladies man. What kind of guy would do that? This is why I work so hard on my other channel to build guys up, to help guys build themselves up so they don't have to tolerate people like this in their lives and have this stuff happen to them. Never, ever accept an open relationship, open marriage. If he did that, knowing all this, you think the, that the disrespect towards him would stop? It would get way worse. She also told me that she gets excitement from sending uh, these types of pictures and getting a reaction out of people. Attention and validation. She said that I, that I look at nude women online and she never complained. I told her looking at a nude model online and messaging a local guy for hookups is totally 100% different. Listen to her gaslighting him. Amazing. Yeah, look, him looking at some model or going on to... P O R N hub or whatever, that's one thing, as opposed to actually sending pictures of himself naked and doing those types of things with locals in town. Another thing is her Prozac. How does it kill her SCX drive to the point that we only have you know what once a month, but she's horny enough to seek enough SCX outside the marriage? Because she's bullshitting you, dude. That's why. She's giving you once a month just enough to keep you in line, keep you around. To, to slightly fulfill your needs, that's it. But she's really getting her, her fix elsewhere. I'm even looking up to set an appointment, but a divorce lawyer or a marriage counselor? Uh, no marriage counselor. Talk to a divorce attorney. Now, a few little uh, updates he says here. Uh, edit to add, I reached out to the guy she's been hooking up with and got no response. I was able to find his address from property tax records. I went over to his house and told him, you don't know me, I don't know you. Stop all communication with my wife and we won't have any issues going forward. But if you keep interfering with the well-being of my family, then things can get ugly. He agreed to stop contacting her. Then I told her I went to his house and she said, I crossed the line. I crossed the line, not the cheaters. Whatever. First of all, at this point... You're wasting your time with those guys. She'll just find somebody else to nail her. But she says he crossed the line. Again, have you heard an apology? Have you heard any remorse? She's a narcissist. She obviously doesn't care about him or the kids. Second edit to thank everyone. I read every response and I reached out to two close friends. It's unanimous. I should file for a divorce. Thank you. 
And the reasoning makes sense. She's not remorseful and gaslighting me in, in, into thinking I need to improve to fix this. And she did try talking me into open marriage so she can continue cheating. There you go. This guy, in my opinion, needs to contact an attorney, find out all his options in his state, good, good, bad, or ugly, and then formulate a plan and act on it. And the sad thing is, this is a good guy, as you can tell. He's naive. He's clueless. Too nice. But he's, I gotta say, a good guy. And still, she probably knows darn well the odds are she'll get the house, she'll get the kids, he'll see my weekends and holidays, that type of thing, and I'll have to start over. And it's a shame. And this is why I warn guys about things nowadays and be fully prepared if they're going to get married because deck is stacked against guys. It's unfortunate. But I'd find out all his options from an attorney, good, bad, or ugly, and then figure out a plan. And if that means he has to live in a freaking studio apartment for a while... While he's real rebuilding his wealth, even if she loses, even if she gets the house, even if she gets the custody of the kids, and he sees them on weekends and holidays and that type of thing, or, or a partial custody or something. At least he's rid of her. At least he can move on. Because if he stays with her, knowing all this, then she, if you think she treats him bad now, it's going to be even worse. Because then, because then she realizes this guy stayed with me in spite of all that. Okay, he's that weak. She'll, as if she didn't have enough disrespect for him already. She's really going to, she'll resent him. She'll cheat on him just to punish him because in her mind, he's a weak-ass man. Remember, women are hate-weak men, even though that you see a lot of them with those types. This guy be out of his mind to stay with her. And at least if it was tough, even though it was tough, he lost the house, lost the kids, at least he can start over. He's 36, for God's sakes. And rebuild his wealth, start over, work on himself, get some self-respect, not to tolerate this crap again, and he'll be all right. But a lot of guys would just stay with it. Now, a few comments. And I got to point out, in the comment section, it's unanimous. Nobody is on her side. Nobody. One guy says, She only wants SEX, just not with you. She wants your financial resources and free babysitting while she makes her way through all the guys at the bar. Your old marriage is over. You can be an afterthought or an ex-husband. Your choice. Another one says, You're doing everything wrong. Waste the time to reach out to the affair partners. They owe you nothing and certainly won't grant it. There is a 100% chance this ends in divorce. There's a 100% chance this ends in divorce. She lacks remorse for her actions and no longer sees you as anyone other than the father of her children. She no longer has any romantic interest in you. The open relationship is complete gaslighting. She absolutely had you know what with that guy and is lying about the details. This is now a toxic env environment for your children. Implement the 180 and start gray rocking. <clears throat> Plan for a divorce. She shows zero remorse for her actions and no empathy for your feelings. You can't even be a friend of her right now. Y'all are co-parents figuring out the divorce and how to separate. Don't waste any more time communicating with a remor remorseless partner and start planning a life without her. A freaking men. No remorse. None. Not one apology. And twisting things around, making them out to the bad guy. And, and guarantee, in her mind, she justifies this. Well, I married him... We got together too young, and it's his fault that we're together, and it's his fault this and his fault that. Therefore, I'm justified in doing this. No, honey. No, you're not. <clears throat> and guess what? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Even if she, ha she has issues with him, what about her kids? She's cheating on her kids. She's hurting her kids. She is wrecking the family. You think she cares? No. Welcome to today's world. Selfish, selfish, selfish. But, again, you can't be a strong empowered gal in 2022 unless you're doing something like this. Another one says, the Prozac, the Prozac only kills the sex drive for you. Honestly, this is not worth the effort. She's getting attention and loving it. And you are right. Open marriage means she gets banged every weekend and you babysit. Swinging, do you really want to see your wife having you know what with another man with you, while you stand by not having SEX with another woman? Get a lawyer, know your rights. Marriage counseling is useless when she's still active in the affair. The marriage counselor is just going to tell you to pretty much, you know, work on it, listen to her, blah, 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 and she'll just keep on cheating. I get he doesn't want to hurt her. I guarantee his number one thought are his kids. He doesn't want to break up the marriage. He doesn't want to hurt the kids, which is admirable. He doesn't want to hurt the children. But having the kids grow up in a house like that where mom and dad hate each other's guts and all this turmoil is going on and she shows no respect for him and he has no respect for himself, those kids will end up like them one day. So if he really loves them, he can pull off the Band-Aid first, quickly, do the divorce, all that, and then start healing as opposed to just being miserable. Another one says here, you, oh, marriage is over. She just didn't tell you. She's going to cheat over and over and over. She has the taste for it. She will not be able to stop. 
She is so empty inside, she is seeking outside validation. She is showing no remorse, guilt, or shame. She has no reconciliation as possible. The ball is in your court. You can give us and, and yourself a million reasons why you and your children deserve absolutely no respect or love. How you can afford divorce or, or how deep down inside she is is a good person. She's not. Believe someone when they show you who they are. Gray rock her and do the 180. Contact the divorce attorney at least to discuss your options. Do not go to marriage counseling. Good luck. Yeah, you can go to a divorce attorney and get a consultation. They're usually free. Find out his options. Or what he could do if he was really smart is talk to multiple divorce attorneys in town. And just... Uh, to consult, find out what they're like, see if you click with one of the attorneys, because believe me, you want to go along with your divorce attorney here, and find out what they're like, their rates, and I do believe if you consult with them, even just a consultation, therefore they can't, she can't meet with them. I, I believe that's the case. So the more he meets with in town, she can't do business with them when eventually she gets to that point too. Just an idea. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And again, guys, like I said, Welcome to Psalm Gomorrah 2.0. These stories just keep popping up left and right. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Joseph for sending me this story. <clears throat> and guys, also, if you got a really good story you'd like to share with me, a personal story that's like this, by all means, email me, strongsuccessfulmail.gmail.com. Or if you find a good story, just, again, email it to me. Include the link. Don't forget the link. Some people do. And I'll definitely cover it down the road. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.